Oh, all right, folks. Here we are. Another, now this, uh, this one is um, it, it, this is a nine and a half minute compilation of. I I I, I, de I, I struggle to say best of. Um, yeah, I mean it's like it's like that's you know separating it's like separating the chaff from the chaff. But the, this is a nine and a half minute compilation of now some of uh, the clips you're going to see in this. This was put together. Um, by the uh, the YouTube channel Dave Rubin Clips, who you should who you should go subscribe to, and you should follow him on Twitter. Um, but this was put together uh, uh, by them, and uh, and I'm I, I, I'm not even I'm I'm not even going to pause this because at this stage you should really have an idea of it. I'm just going to sit here and we, and we can just enjoy this together. Now, some of the clips from some of the bits you're going to see are from. Uh, yeah, are, are from the second video, um, you know, but that really doesn't make uh, doesn't make too much difference. So I think we can just play this and enjoy, enjoy. And it's at the same club. It's at the same club as well. He was in in the first one. So let's just see. And uh, the first thirty seconds is obviously, you know, should you say heavily edited. Although it it's equally as fucking. You know, it might as well not be. You know. <laughs> You're straight. You have a lot of gay friends. You're gay. Hold on. Gay, gay, gay. Widow, gay, gay, gay. gay. You're with me, right? Yeah. Are you gay? Yeah. I'm. I'm on the gay. Gay. Well, How are we feeling? This is this. Uh, this is like gay fucking gay. like. So we have, uh, that was this is unintentional so conversion gay, therapy. So gay. What? I am gay. I am gay. Uh, I think you're gay. Are you? But you're. Am I right? No. Good, good, good. Do we have any Mormons? I always want to find out. Uh, I know we love the Mormons. Any, uh, no Mormons here tonight? What, no? why would Do we they? have any Mormons, by the way? I thought, uh, we promoted heavily in Utah, so... For a comedy, for a gay comedy night in New York. Any Mormons? Do we have any Mormons? Besides our, we have one straight woman here, everyone else gay, proud, and... Not that into it. Okay. But they were just like Very some jokes. Good. So is this your lady right here? Are you in a lady mode? Do you go in modes? I'm always wondering about the bisexual. You're wondering about you see no. you see, Dave, one of the reasons yeah, they so just, one you know, of the reasons that they tend to have like comedy nights that are themed is so that people who like can go along so they'll have a gay comedy night so that gays and lesbians, bisexuals can go along and not get asked the driveway dog dumbass dog shit fucking ignorant questions that they would expect to get asked at, at a regular comedy night with a straight compare but you do the same but you ask them the same stupid questions you know lesbians giving other lesbians flowers have you ever heard anything more beautiful than that a joke Obviously you have. Tell oh, us one we know. Doesn't that seem weird that gays now hate the Mormons? Like, a Mormon wants to have a lot of wives, and I want to fuck one dude. Why are we fighting? What? Are Fucking ripping, ripping, it, ripping it apart there. First of all, I, I don't think it's the gays that hate the more, more. I don't think this was... I don't think any, any, any angst between gays and Mormons was not started by the gays. Um, also, that joke makes no sense because... You know, why would marrying lots of wives and just one wife make it? You could use that just with straight people. But also, I mean, there's a really obvious joke there, thinking about it. You could have just said, you know, you could have just said, you could have made some sort of pun out of the fact that, you know, they want to be Mormon and I just want more men. There you go. Fuck it. I just, th there. See, I just thought of that. I've already improved your fucking act. There is an actual, that is an actual fucking joke. Right, to play on words. Everyone loves puns. Yeah, and I did it sat here in the future wearing no trousers. We fighting over. What are we fighting over? You ain't Thank fighting you for that smile, sir. That was a very supportive <laughs> smile. That's what you want when you I look out at the crowd. Chris People Matthews going dick before. That's a, that's a phrase I've never. So you guys, all right, but let's see, do we have any straight men? I don't even understand why gay people applaud straight marriage. Yes, you've been fucking him for 46 years. Jesus Christ, like, kill me. Um, it's very good. Do we have any, any married people here? Any gay married people? Gays from the future, as I call them. Uh, That's Dave Rubin, married.
Um, gays from the future. Again, I, I, I would like to. I, do I even need to fucking? To, I mean, I don't. It's like, what does he mean? I don't. I, I don't even know. Straight, gay. So these are your girls. Yeah. Very good. And did you know that she was straight? Or were no, you... Dave. Yes, no idea. Right. Thank God you asked. And him. so no straight men. Do we have any? Straight he's been men? trying to no, plow her for the men. last. He's been trying I'm to really pipe her for the last six months. You two. This woman and this man right there. <laughs> Dan Abrams' cock is huge. What? Okay. You have your foot up his balls. Oh, listen, see, that's why gay people are great. Because if you have cold balls, a gay man will put his foot in your balls. Even if you're straight, we don't care. And who else is warming up someone's genitals right now? Anyone uh, having, or does anyone need their genitals warmed up? Any so you're milking yeah, it, Dave. I don't, see, he got a good laugh out of it first. That was a good ad lib. But he it's fucking milked it. Don't want monogamy. Good night, everybody. No. It needs to be a there. joke no, after that. Too heartfelt, right? We had a little delay here. What happened? You were with there just me. needs now to be. A, they're they're waiting for the punchline, motherfucker. You were drinking Amstel Light, the beer of lesbians. Yeah. Early show. I usually save the old vagina jokes for later. But uh, talk about what you don't know. You are a smiley. Look at this straight white motherfucker, blackberrying right in front of me. You fuck. He's live tweeting Jesus. this gig. Hashtag death of comedy. Uh, by, uh, show of hands, how many of you have televisions? Have you have a pretty good? Okay, and how many of you have the here network? Okay, we've got some work to do, but we're. But I will tell you, there is something in Wolf Blitzer's beard that you don't want to see when you're when you're still. And so are we excited. Obama is the. <laughs> no, you're cold. You're just a cold. You're a cold. You know that the gays are cold. That they don't. They fear the cold. The gays. Gays love water but fear the cold. I will give up marriage. I, I don't know. Straight people prove the sanctity of marriage by never getting divorced. I think that would be, don't you? Oh, is that an applause? That wasn't an applause line, was it? Oh, that's a fucking... Not funny per se, but a Not statement. funny per se. I, that is your fucking life story. Gay, your like autobiography should be called Not Funny economy. Per Se. Guys, Every I time you that? say something. I've never heard any of my gay friends like, I don't have money to go out tonight. I can't do it. That is true. Gay, gay men do have more disposable income. This is true, but the crowd have given up on him at this point. I didn't mean to ignore you right in the front. I What's bet they were well. The they were well enjoying here? themselves. They were the only man. happy people left. You got a big smile, so something good's happening. The man is smiling. He's got two women. What's going on? All right, people. We are. That is our show. But I did. I was working back there. I'm a professional, and I <laughs> have the confessions. I normally. I haven't done this one in years, but I was thinking. Now, if you're doing material, if you get to a point in a gig where you have to pull out a joke that you haven't done in years, you know it's going badly. Because you, you, you realise that none of your recent stuff, so you've got to go to the old shit and hope maybe that fucking will break them. Back there, what can I do for these good people? This is my impression. It's the only... This is a joke that I stopped doing several years ago, probably because it fucking was not very good or just, you know, its cultural relevance fucking ran out. Let's see. Impression I do. I literally haven't done it for years. This is my impression of Yoda. Oh, a very difficult impression. You know, you very rarely hear a Yoda. No, but no, no, it's, that's not an impression everyone could do. Having sex. Oh, right. This is going to sound fucking... Is it going to sound like Yoda? Grunting? Yoda having sex. That actually sounds like Jordan Peterson getting ass fucked with a ball gag in his mouth. What did you get up to on that tour? It sounds like Yoda having a shit. Or this... Or your sex. Yeah. And my friend said to me, it was a guy that I kind of knew, he goes, you don't live at 412 Amsterdam, do you? And he had fucked that very midget. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to bring up your final... Bisexual... You got a round of applause, man. Is there anything hotter than a lesbian spitting Amstel Light all over herself? Yeah. Two, look at the way you're sitting. You guys are mounting each other in love. Look how long, how long you've been doing it. Yes, I've been masturbating for 25 years. Uh, no, that's your, your boyfriend, your lover, your partner. Exciting. I, uh, 
I'm very happy. We had, the comics are literally so excited. As I walked out, one of the comedians said to me, how gay are you going to be for this show? Which I think, that's, that's you a know, sign. Ab about as much as you normally are, which is not very. Fine. Don't you think? You wouldn't even get in the, you wouldn't get in the try, guys. No. Okay, we'll edit laughter in there. So. We won't. You haven't got the money for, you haven't got the budget for that, Dave. That's the beauty of television, people. For the people at home... You could edit fucking anything. You could edit... You could cut to fucking the two million people in a Brazilian stadium fucking literally pissing themselves, and I would not believe it. That was very funny. Um, so we have some lesbians here. I, I love lesbians, I, but I have a question, actually, for some of the lesbians. Why... I, I've met a disproportionate amount of lesbians with bad knees. Can anyone... Everywhere I go, I see lesbians with knee braces. So I got some pink berry. Lesbians with knee braces. Another one of those great sort of things you didn't realize. You go, oh yeah, yeah I, I've I got, never seen uh, a, no, no I idea. Right? Lychee. Uh, lychee. Lychee. Thank you. Thank you all very much. That was good grammar. Lychee. I got some lychee. lychee. I'm, I'm not kidding. As I had it in my mouth, she said to me, Dave, you know that has the same consistency as vagina. Okay, it, it fucking doesn't. And I've been out of the game for probably 10 years, and can anyone else confirm that? Is it? Is well, you've it been out of the vagina game for 10 years. I'm pretty sure you'd remember. Maybe, uh, vagina uh, feeling? How much did you eat that you can't remember? pretty distinctive you're good you're all looking at me like okay you're, you're looking like yeah ready, god we, we paid for this this is on tv uh, here network why we won't be getting that ready for comedy <laughs> and it's not important what i did but uh a punchline would have been are you enjoying the sweat are you good yeah i could tell something you were all looking at me like that's a lot of sweat if i lose control of one of my eyes just a little gel yeah, both. We won over there. Is everyone, this going to be like a confessional. Who here has gay people in their family? Let's see. Everyone, let's prove the genetic. Wow, a lot of people. Well, the, all the gay people for who, a start. Who has had sex with those people? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I'm a comedian, and I, that seemed... It just I'm a comedian, and obviously, you know, sexual abuse within family. That you were having gay yeah. Getting ass fucked by your by your by your uncle is just part I of the deal. To me, I didn't know it was your daughter, but that's good to know. Okay, this has become very uncomfortable. Uh, I'm sweating. Look at this. I'm sweating. I know. I, I didn't want to do the thank you. I didn't want to do lesbian incest jokes. I really didn't. I thought you you we're did. You clean, fucking but, uh, you you okay. you were the one well, who brought it up. Sort of what's happened. I was telling you right before we started. That the only reason I'm doing stand up now again is because so many of these comics now uh, have become the politically correct children that they're supposed to be making fun of. Do they get? Do people laugh after what they say, Dave? Then who cares? And I was like, I guess I gotta go do it again. And now oh yes, it. comedy. We need Dave Rubin. Motherfucking hell. Fuck my pubic hair. <laughs>